What is up guys and welcome to the very first game of mine in the new battle arena for BFME 1. Look at the map spinning, that's how you can play now BFME online in 2024. No more game ranger required, you just click and play 1v1s, 2v2s, 3v3s, 4v4s, all your heart desires, okay? And it's foolproof basically, you can't mess it up. All you gotta do is download the all-in-one launcher in the description down below and then click on play online and then we are ready. There's also a ranking system, we're gonna be taking a look into this one after this game, so stay tuned. And there we go. The map, you don't need to choose it, you will pick random. Look, I'm not clicking anything, everything is happening automatically and we are ready for the game number uno, okay? And I believe you have like more than 100 people already being uh, active in the 1v1 department of the patch 2.22. But in order to make this a big success, we need your help. I need your help, boys, okay? So make an account, play some games, because the dream is to be able to play BFME 1 whenever you want to, okay? For that reason, we need lots of people playing this multiplayer function, which is amazing. So it's kind of sad if you don't use it. Rohan against Mordor. So Mordor is a very beefy faction on this map. Fungon Forest, pretty favoring the Mordor faction, but I'm happy that I'm Rohan. Because Rohan is also pretty strong. Rohan actually pretty strong on every single map. But we need to win this as soon as possible, and we can't waste any time. It's working out. It's good, my friend. That's nice. Okay, so we need to creep with the Hobbit. Okay, so we are doing good so far. But again, the map, you pretty much have only two. It's my first game, huh? It's also my first game, actually. <laughs> it's also my first game. In this battle arena. One v once, that is, you know? Okay, let's... Kill some goblin warriors, throw a rock, and kite them like the EDC function in League of Legends. You know, you can do this also in BFME 1. Yeah, eco management is very important in this game, okay? Especially at the beginning of the game, you don't have endless amount of resources, so we need you need to have like a strategy. But you need to always keep in mind that you have only a thousand resources to begin with. So now I made a big mistake at the beginning of the game. My opening, uh, opening was a mistake. I should not open with double farm, okay? So, because you have like four settlements for free on my Fangon Forest, which is the main reason why it's so good for Mordor and Isengard, you basically can open only with one farm. And remember, the farms you build outside are always starting with level 2, which means they are tankier and they also give you more money. And the recruit time of the peasants is going to be also faster when you use the farms outside of your castle. So it was a mistake by me, but again, I'm a quite rusty player. I haven't played 1v1s in ages, but I need to get back in form, okay? By the way, guys, Happy New Year, everybody. You know, I hope you had a fantastic uh, 2023. And of course, as always, I wish you the very best also for 2024. Hopefully with a bit more BFME gameplay in it. So again, we are looking for people. The If you don't want BFME to die, you can actively do something about it. And uh, it's for free too. You just need to play the game, you know. And now no more excuses. You can easily download the launcher and then click and play multiplayer. No more Game Ranger. You can, you know, it was one of the biggest innovations for BFME since EA Games abandoned the games back in 2010. So it's been like almost 14 years, 13 years by now. And now you finally can do it again, you know, like in the good old days. There is a rank ranking matchmaking, you have a ladder, you have spots, you can fight all the way to the number one spot in 1v1s, 2v2s, 3v3s, 4v4s. And I would love to be able to play with you, you know, maybe we can play some 3v3s, 4v4s all together. 
And don't worry about your skill level. There are many, many people who are beginners. There are many people who are just getting used to the game. So you will always be able to find somebody around your own skill level. Because the way the ELO system is working is it will try to match you with somebody who is around your skill level. So you won't be having an opponent who is playing this game for 20 years when you just started playing the game. If there are only, that's only possible if there are enough players, okay? So you watching this video? You have time to, you know, open a different task on your <laughs> Google Chrome and download the launcher and click, you know, register yourself into the matchmaking. And after you watch this video, till the end, obviously, <laughs> then you can search for a game, you know? I mean, we are doing phenomenal, by the way. My opponent, I believe, is not very experienced, but it's okay. It's always... I like it when you have the courage to actually, you know, try to get good in this game. But in order to get kind of decent in this game, you need to understand that you will lose lots of games, okay? That's the only possible way you can actually get good. By losing. When you keep winning, you will not learn too much. I'm always saying, you know, your second game is going to be always better than your first game. Your third game is going to be better than your second game. So practice makes perfect, okay? We will go for Legolas, boys. Legolas, the prince of the mid -good elves. So Legolas is a phenomenal... Oh, we need to heal this. Hold on. Oh, it was close, actually. Legolas is a phenomenal hero in this map because there are so many troll layers and you can easily level them up to level 3, 4 and each time you take a troll layer you will get money and also power points and experience points so it's a win-win-win situation and look at us not the strongest hero with level 1 but the second you get levels with this dude you know you get level 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 then he will hit like an absolute try trust me on that one okay so, because remember you're against Mordor, he might have eventually some rune soldiers later on, he might have trolls, Nazgûls, ghouls, witch kings, and Legolas can counter all of that when you, when you have some levels on this guy. So, very good investment. And then we have also Gimli, you know. Our money is looking phenomenal. So, here, when you play this map, in any matchup, the key to victory is the outpost control voice, okay? Please keep that in mind. There are four outposts on the map Fangorn Forest, and you gotta be protecting and controlling them. And this is even more so important if you play good against evil, especially against Mordor, okay? This is the most important thing ever. Because Mordor, a good Mordor player, will try to capture every single outpost, put Haradrims in it, which will make it very hard, because remember, there is no third pathway. You need to pass through one of these outposts, he will be able to see you coming. And the best way to deny your opponent from capturing those outposts is by capturing them yourself, okay? This, my friends, is the solution. A knife fighter also dealing more damage. To the structures, it is, okay? Nice, Legolas, level 3. I'm telling you, like, now it's gonna be very easy because there are so many orcs, there are so many Haradrims, there are so many, like, I don't know, so many units you can kill with Legolas. And, by the way, guys, quick question to you. Let me know in the comment section down below. When you played the good campaign of PFME 1, who of your heroes got the most kills? In, oh my god, I missed... <laughs> I wanted to extra the give <laughs> I wanted to extra the troll, not the troll cage. Um, for me, in my case, Legolas was the number one by far, okay? Legolas was the killer number one by far. And I was actively trying once that Gimli gets more kills than Legolas, you know? Because you remember in the films, there was like a race between Gimli and Legolas. And I wanted to make sure that at least in the good campaign of PFME 1, Gimli can you know, overcome Legolas. That was my goal, but I didn't manage it. Because Legolas like shooting pew, 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 and hitting like a truck. Especially on those key missions, like Helm's Deep, that is, and Black Keith. If you don't want kills with him, you need to just don't not play with him. Put him behind, you know? 
So sometimes my Gandalf was also better than my Legolas because I was always actively trying to get Gandalf to level 10 and I'm looking for this amazing, satisfying war of powers. But I pro you probably did the same too. You are trying to beat your opponent into one location with all their army and then you just wipe them out with war of power, you know? So far, so good. Okay, we have, you know, Tall Post Control now. We will take the third one too, no problemo. I mean, he also didn't take this outpost at the bottom left side, which is a big mistake. Mordor has to take outpost. So you basically take all the four mills, you need to protect them as a little bit. Not even for a long tour. I need to heal this, by the way. <laughs> the troll is, you know, spinning me around. I gotta heal this. <laughs> okay. I got you, boy. Gimli, you won't die. You won't die today, Gimli, boy. Like, yeah, basically that's what you gotta do with Mordor. You need to protect your four mills. That will give you lots of wood bonuses. That means you will be able to fill up your castle very fast, okay? I'm talking in light speed. That's how fast you can do it. Then you make Haradrim in Paris. Like, you make three, two orc pits at bare minimum. You need to make at bare minimum two orc pits. Here it's very important to spam orcs. Then you make Haradrim Palace, you capture the outpost, this one, in the top one, and then you put Haradrims in it, then you build at the outpost yet another orc pit. So this, the, the meaning of this is to spam and force your opponent to deal with your orcs. It will buy you time, and orcs in 2.22 are actually dealing great amount of damage to the structures. You can't ignore them, they will destroy your farm very quickly, and it means your opponent has to invest at least one or two Rohirrim to permanently deal um, with your orc spam. By the way, I don't care about the, the Yeoman archers. I don't care about them. You have the whole map, you know? <laughs> we are so rich. Yeah, I'm telling you. Like, there are beginners, there are medium players, there are good players, there are expert players, you know? And you will be able to find people that are very close to your skill level regardless if you're a good player if you're a new player or if you're a medium player doesn't matter so i hope you guys will give it a shot again just click on the 2.2 launcher in the description of the video get yourself the all-in-one launcher for bfme games which also by the way allows you to download bfme 1 2 and rise of the witch king already for now the online functionality is only being supported for bfme 1 but in, in the short terms, in the few, in the upcoming months, you will also be able to play BFME 2 in the Rise of the Witch King online. In all in one. That was the whole premise of the launcher. That you can download all the games like you can do now. That you can patch all the games. And then that you can play all the games, you know. In the lands of Mordor. <laughs> in the <laughs> fires of Mount Doom. A team has forged a master launcher to control all the other launchers <laughs> i am proud of my team i mean it's amazing person person you know amazing people in the team who are all passionate about the game and i need to repeat myself nothing of this i've done alone nothing of this i could do alone and the best part of streaming on twitch and making videos for youtube was to meet great people with the same ambition with the same passion about the game, like I do have. And Mary, ah, never mind. And with their help, and with your help, with help of everybody who is watching on Twitch or YouTube, we can keep the BFME games, I'm certain, we can keep the BFME games alive, boys, okay? For the next generations. But I believe that's our duty to do this. Because at some point, you will get also to be a parent, you will have sons. And I hope, I've also a son myself, that my son will step in my footstep and take over, you know what I mean? And that your son eventually be also the next generation BFME. We will keep doing this until a company finally wakes up and realize, okay, you know what? Damn, you know, this community is very stubborn, so we need to make a BFME tree. Level up. Okay. So we need to buy Horseman Shields. And then we are tanky. We have Legolas, level 6. Gimli, almost level 5. And Theodin, level 2. And we have everything what we need. We have firepower. That's why Rohan is so strong, by the way. Rohan has everything you need 
besides siege weapons. That's the only weakness of Rohan. There are two weaknesses of Rohan. The lack of resources compared to other factions with one slot less in the castle. That means you are heavily depending on the map control. While a Gondor, for example, can camp out with only the settlements he has available in the castle. Rohan can't do this really. And the second problem is the, the siege weapons of Rohan are the ends. So ends are very strong. But they are also very vulnerable against other siege weapons, especially against Trebuchet, the Firestone, or the Mortal Catapults, because they are very, very weak uh, against fire, you know? But other than that, you have the best army, you have Glorious Charge, you have lots of leadership you can get, and you have lots of heroes, starting from Mary all the way to Aragorn. And you have also the most strategies with Rohan. Rohan, Mordor, and then... Isengard and Gondor are pretty basic factions because you have not too many uh, diversity in those two factions. But with Rohan and Mordor, there is enough. You have Harad and Paris with Mordor, you can go for the mobile kill pan, you can go for trolls, you can go for a Nazgul rush, you can make combos. And if you don't do all of this, you will just get crushed. And by the way, his furnace is in the castle. That's obviously a mistake, but maybe he was trying to get a Nazgul or Witch King. Because I don't see a troll cage. But I'm not sure if he's rich or not. I can't tell. I mean, we, we kind of kept checking him good, I believe, you know. His eco shouldn't be that good. I'm gonna try to get my Kyurin to level 4, okay? Because for the first game in the battle arena, we need to have a glorious charge moment. Nice, we are very close. Put him always behind the unit so he can share experience with them. Go, King. Go, go, go. Oh, so close. One more, one more. Okay, this towel will give it to me. Watch, 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 watch. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. The first 1v1 gameplay on the ladder from me. And we have Glorious Charge. Now for Wrath, now for Ruin and the Red Dawn. And Gimli will leap. I've already become your fan watching your videos on YouTube, man. Thank you very much, bro. Appreciate it. And thanks for playing, and you will get better, you know? You will get better. Trust me on that one, okay? Don't give up. So after the game ends, this will happen, boys. Game summary. And that's how the online launcher is, by the way, looking like, if you haven't touched it already. And. You know, you can see on the left, you can choose between 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, and this 3v3 NM and 4v4 NM means no Mordor. Because Mordor is a very strong faction in those um, formats. And this is the letter. We have, in, at the point of this video, we have 102 people signed up to the letter, okay? And hopefully, it's gonna be more after you sign up too. Did you well played? I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Smash the like button, subscribe for more. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.